Okay, uh, the four booms are attached to the lower frame plate and held on by these uh, the uh, the shorter frame struts, the front and rear frame struts. Arrow facing forward, so we have booms with motors one five here, booms three seven over here, two six up to the left front, four eight back over here. And if you notice, all these signal wires are ran over to this right side of our uh, FC-1212 coming out over here. And uh, these are power wires are all kind of stuck toward the center now, but not through the bottom. At this point, we can go ahead and put our uh, other two struts on, the two, strength, the two larger frame struts down each side. It's going to kind of, right now our frame is kind of floppy because it's got all this weight, you know, all four motors back here and, you know, on the frame hanging off each end. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, these two struts will kind of stiffen this up a little, flip him over. Plenty of height there. Don't forget to lock tight everything as you go. William frame, yes. Okay. So let's start this strut. You can see, I guess, turn it up on his side. Whatever strategy you decide. Let's get these on there. Let's stiffen up our frame a little. Still move that. Don't line it. These are 1.5s. Driver on here. I'm gonna lift up so that it doesn't pull a bow. because there's a little bit of slack in these hose. Enough so they're not so hard to work with. That's made that side of the frame quite a bit stiffer. Spin him around. Put the other one on. Again, touch your bolts. Uh, in a second, we're going to be putting the uh, upper frame on. That enabled us to do all that wiring in there without this the upper frame in our way, which you know, kind of slows you down a little if it gets on there. Well, it's actually quite a bit. You can see our power wires are right about right in here. We pull on those two and put the power wire on us up here to assume. So, uh, So it's not pulling down, pulling a bow in that. You know, it's got all our four of our struts attached to our lower frame. So we're going to spin him over. Turn the fret up back out away from us. And if you're wiring again, um, these are actually exit through the center hole in the top of this frame over here. We're not going to worry about our four pivot bolts yet. about our frame first and then because there's just those eight bolts there and then, then do our pivots we want to make the frame reach it first and we can align our uh, pivot bolts so let's get our upper frame assembly we pull it out first there's no front or um, rear there is a side to side and you can't you really can't get that wrong so let's you know our wiring out of here it comes out the top uh, the only wire that don't come out of the top is this wire. This is your four pin wire for your programmer. You can run that. You can run it out the top, I guess, if you wanted to, but it's it's been more convenient for me to uh, run it out through the front. Just right out the front between the booms. One side or the other, it don't matter. There's a little bar there in the middle. I just kind of run it out 
right there, and then I can I leave that in so you're not always trying to pull it in and out of your flight controller. It's a lot easier to program your machine with this out. You can velcro it on the bottom, uh, just stuff it back in your frame for flight. Um, a lot of things you can do with that wire, but let's get it uh, just laid on there while we're wiring out the top so we're not getting anything chafing. So we got, uh, let's check our wiring. It's all out. Ahar is already plugged in, so it's it's pretty much out. This is going to be our uh, the center port, if you remember or from earlier. This is our GPS plug, and here's our eight wires for our motors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. There they are. So let's get this thing on here. We'll do some more alignment of the wiring once these are on. At least it's all in there. You don't have to do that in under that upper frame. And take take your time here because you uh, these both this frame is kind of saggy since it's just got one half of it together. So take your time to line up each one of these bolts. It doesn't take but a minute, but um, it's important. 